Today on Twitter was a really interesting conversation with Iker, Loic and uh, Kiel about how to use um, the uh, joints and set driving keys to drive your deformation. So here Iker did this uh, nice deformation just to test this uh, approach and was well I recommend you to to check it out because the the conversation is really interesting I think Kiel also did some tutorials that you can watch and I jump in the conversation I was commenting about that uh, RBF manager that can be used for uh, drive joints so this is not well documented or not documented at all but basically you can use it to to drive joints so here I did a little uh, test to show how it works so basically the joints are here these two joints are being drive by the um, RBF manager and it works exactly the same as the safe driving key so you can drive these and you can move this and it's going to affect your deformation so how I set up this it's very simple um, the first thing I did it's at a blended joint here this one and then I added a support joint like this so I just select this, I'm just going to add another support joint here okay something like that and you can see here this is connected visually but this one and this one is not connected and the reason is because when you use the RBF manager it's going to create an intermediate structure for you like these two um, transforms that going to hold this um, setup so this is a caveat that you need to know if you want to use it like that um, that it's going to affect your, your structure or your hierarchy so in order to open the RBF manager go here on the menu and we can see we have set up here the elbow and I did a couple of poses very simple but the way to add uh, let's say I want to add this this element so i am just selected my arm joint here or my controls it's this one and I want to add this one so I just go here new RBF and I'm gonna use uh, rotation and translation and I'm not gonna use the scale for the moment because this um, solver tends to zero means if it doesn't find any pose specific on the current position it's gonna tend to set all the values to zero and uh, scaling it's one it's not zero so it's gonna scale to like to zero so I'm just gonna use this and now you see it disappeared the connection because I created this intermediated position and this is in the neutral pose so I just can go here and uh, just move this random here and I don't know or just um, more than this I'm, instead of adding a new pose I'm just gonna recall the old pose and just edit this one for this element so you can see now this is gonna be affected I'm just gonna do it again like in a big pose here so edit and now you can see it's moving obviously it doesn't affect because it's uh, not skin but you can see the effects or I'm just gonna create a new one so I'm just gonna go okay I have this and this one just gonna create this one here I'm just gonna move this a little there and maybe this a little here and add pose so I have the pose added and basically that's it how how I set up this I'm gonna make this uh, scene available so you can download it also with this uh, video on YouTube but basically it's it's very simple um, if you want to add like scaling you can do it also um, let's do it in this one so I'm just gonna add a new RVF in this case I'm just gonna add this scaling here okay so it's added there and okay let me double check it's yes yeah, this one yeah so I have the scale it's it's one 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 but as soon as I add a new pose I just random one here and I'm just gonna add a new pose you can see here it tends to zero so and here because I have already some poses it's a bit more stable but it tends to zero so in case you you, you want to keep this uh, to one you can go to the pose come here and edit like that so now and 
probably you need to reevaluate the solver. Okay. And now it should be stable to, to one this scale. So if you if you, you can do it, but you need to do this. Obviously, um yeah, if you want to export to games or um to any other software that you don't want this intermediate uh hierarchy, um you can use it like that. And that's that's the uh, how it works. I mean you cannot get rid of this hierarchy unless you use like a normal control zero one and use a control to drive the RBF and just keep the joints later. So in that way, because the RBF is going to be supported by the control structure and not by this uh, intermediate uh, transformation here, it's going to be much much clean your uh, joint structure. Okay, I hope this is helpful and see you in the next video. Bye bye.